Okay, guys, I just want to uh, go into Dark Nova and do some, do a little video here of, of the latest version. We've got the build number. So this is referencing the the internal subversion revision number um, that the that this was built off of, that the F APK was built off of. That's good. Um, we'll just have to make sure that that's, that's getting updated um, so that we can refer back to a build and, and see where the problem's fixed. Um, okay, so let's see. A couple more things we're looking for here. I'm gonna create a new character. I am testing with a character that um, has a, a lot of engineering skill because I wanna see if the ship gets repaired. I'm gonna be at hard, a little bit of piloting skill. And I probably shouldn't spend too much time on this because the game, we might not get to show you here, but okay. So anyway, engineering skills should be, being that high should mean that the ship can be repaired. Um, and of course our piloting skill gives us the ability to escape. Okay, again, that, that sound is getting truncated. Uh, it's not playing the entire sound on that. We know that, that it still exists. Um, the first thing here is just let's go to a, let's go to a system. I noticed a couple little behaviors here. Well, let's buy some stuff. Um, again, this this bar probably shouldn't. It should it should probably only go up to the amount available. So there's not actually ever, a, I mean, there's not 100 available, I'm sure. So it should only go up to the amount that's actually available for purchase. Um, let's take off. Um, so this is the first thing. I, I saw this, one, one thing just on randomness. I saw this exact same encounter the last time I tried this. And so that's interesting. But it's good to... I'm not sure why the exact same encounter, same encounter came up, but in any case, um, I have an option to bribe here. Um, if I say bribe, I believe it's going to exit the encounter sequence, which it shouldn't do. Uh, so let's see what happens. So what happened there was uh, when I say bribe, when I click on bribe, I should be getting some more dialogues that say whether or not the bribe was successful. And then the encounter should continue throughout however many clicks are left. Um, so there's a couple things going on there. Uh, the, the encounter exits immediately. Uh, so that's a, you know, that's a bug. And the bribe function doesn't look like it's working because it should be showing some a dialogue on whether it was successful or not. Um, Let's see, so let's go ahead and sell our cargo. Okay, and uh, let's see what what happened here. So that also looks like it, it dropped us out, or maybe it didn't do the warp. I'm not sure what happened there, but in any case, the bribe is exiting the encounter. I'm not sure if we actually ended up at the place we were trying to go. So we'll try and go to, to Rosa. Um, buy some stuff. Okay, so in this build, it looks like the encounter is always the same, by the way. So um, that that shouldn't be, this should be a random, <clears throat> this should be a random event that doesn't always show a police guy. And again, Looks like looks like we have a new maybe a new bug because what's happening is the first button that I click exits the encounter. We should usually be seeing more than one. It could happen because because it's random. It could happen that you don't see any other uh, ships in the encounter, but that would be rare. Uh, so and it looks like it's happening every time. So I'm just gonna go one more time. Uh, And do another warp. See if we get the same. Looks like I'm. Looks like I might be frozen up there. Oh, okay. So that's good. So I don't have any fuel. 
by the way, that should be showing an error when I if I go to warp. <clears throat> that, that's interesting. It looked like it was it looked like it didn't calculate the fuel correctly that time. I have to go back to that one. Um, OK, let's see. Let's go to the shipyard, buy some fuel, go back, do a warp. I already have cargo. So again, I see the same encounter again. So that's so that's something that's not quite right with this build. And same encounter is appearing every time. Um, and if I hit flee, I'll probably instantly arrive. So it instantly drops me out of the encounter. Um, I'm just going to go to my warp screen here. Notice that the the fuel circle, the range circle, is still large, even though it's not. It really shouldn't be. It should have taken fuel away when we did that warp. So there's some some the counter is a little bit messed up on this build. Um, the other thing is, you know, let's go to yeah. You know, see, it still thinks I have fuel, even though we did a warp. So. Something's going on with that encounter, the encounter code right now, so you guys can take a look at that. Um, the other thing, let's take a quick look at uh, and see if we were saving games. One thing to notice, guy. One thing to to keep in mind in the iPhone version, every time you do a warp, every time you successfully warp somewhere, the game is saved. And I, I'm forgetting right this second whether the game is. I believe the game is saved as soon as you arrive. So when you hit warp. Okay, see now it's going to tell us that now it's decided that we're out of fuel. So I'm trying to warp, but it doesn't do anything. If you're out of fuel, there should be a dialogue that says you're you don't have enough fuel. I think we might have had that working at one point. Um, now it says we need fuel. So to recap, um, we're dropping out of we're, we're we're always seeing the same encounter, which isn't good. Uh, that time we saw a different encounter. Okay, interesting. Looks like. Okay, so now now it looks like it's working correctly, and we died. Great. Um, so a couple things in this video. One, I want you guys to understand that there there's an auto save feature, um, and this is really important. There's an auto save feature on the iPhone. I'll show it to you in a video. It's really important because um, it's. You know, it's a it's a it's a cell phone, so you're going to get phone calls. You're going to get dropped out of the game. So it's really important to have that auto auto save feature. And in the iPhone, uh, the game is saved every time you warp. At the end of the warp, if you made it to the warp, the game is saved automatically. You don't have to push any buttons. It's just automatically saved. So this is interesting. So now it seems like the encounter is is not stuck anymore. Um, so I'm going to just stop this video now. I'm not, cause I'm not sure what it looked like damage just repaired there, by the way. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut the video. There's a couple things that we're missing. We're missing the auto save feature on, on warp, completing the warp. Um, if you get blown up in between the rope warp, we should be deleting the saves. So that's, that's, uh, something we need to look at. And as you see in this video, there's something going on with that encounter. It doesn't look, it looks like it unstuck. It may have something to do with the cargo I bought, but you know, some stuff to take a look at. Um, and in the, real quick in the options, let's see, okay. So if we do these, All the bug, all that bug is saying. Um, I think it's number. Oh, I'm I'm forgetting which number it is. There's a button that says the options don't stick. So basically, if I tell if I turn all these options on and I leave, and I come right back in and look, they're all reset. So if I turn the option on or off, I want it to stay on or off. That's all. That's all that that bug is. All right. Thanks, guys.